Hi, this is Dora Carey of Orange.Quills and in today's video I want to share with you some of my patterns and the quills that I made with them. Before I take you to the backyard to show you all the quills I made and the patterns, I want to tell you a few words about me. I am Romanian. I uh, moved to the United States in 2001 and I became a citizen in 2008. Uh, the same year I made my first quilt. In Romania I was an engineer and a graphic and industrial designer and you can see the influence that those two um, jobs and <laughs> careers in my patterns. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy my short presentation of my quilts and uh, just so you know the, the accent that I have cannot be helped. I know some of you made some comments during my first video about my accent uh, but please know uh, that I cannot change it. I learned English in my late 20s and uh, that's why all the languages I speak actually I speak with a Romanian accent. So when you try criticizing it think about that it cannot be changed. Thank you. The only one pattern is one of my favorites. It uses just one fabric and this is the one I used to create a much simplified one block wonder quilt. As you can see, um, this looks edgier and uh, a little bit fresher than the original One Block Wonders. Uh, in addition to that, we are not fussy cutting the fabric and instead of hexagons or octagons, we are using half square triangles. Uh, no waste in the fabric. There are three sizes in the pattern, four, four sizes in the pattern. Um, and super fun uh, to make quilt. Goes great with panels as well. One pattern a little bit more labor intensive is my take on trip around the world and it's fun to make six fabrics plus a background uh, it uses the string I mean it's not string pieces strips you are going to uh, sew strips together and then cut them in smaller pieces there are several sizes in the pattern um, this is the one inch finished size we also have the two inch finished the same layout with the two inch finished size was going to be a king size but there are many other patterns in between uh, with world tour it's a spectacular quilt and it actually can be toned down i use really bright colors because that's my preference but it can be toned down with other color choices again world tour super fun arabesque is an amazing pattern foundation paper piecing very versatile you can really play with the placement of color in the pattern all the foundation papers are included as well as a color me page where you can create your own variation uh, the foundation paper piecing are actually square and i'll show you how they look with uh, with a square layout but this is what i did first this is the third quilt i ever made which should give you courage that you can make one too thank you the square arabesque that's how the papers are in the pattern as you can see you can integrate this inside in the center of a larger bed quilt or make a twin size quilt by adding borders on the top and the bottom it's a it's a spectacular quilt really this looks really raggedy but this is um tree skirt version of the arabesque this is how the foundation papers look on the back uh, with my, my annotations of course but you can also make this a tree skirt this is not finished just so you know i still need to add the binding and also cut one side but yeah it would make a great tree skirt so beautiful east west is one of those wonderful patterns that is simple inspired by Moroccan windows plus in the sashie there's a secondary design element that creates little plus signs I call it east-west for that <laughs> and um, it's absolutely spectacular I mean you can make one color monochromatic variations in the block I have used three different fabrics two across and two different ones across from those uh, but it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Many more sizes in the pattern. Um, it's pretty easy. Just a little bit of matching that you have to be careful about matching the points, but that's it. Big 
pinwheels is my take on the pinwheels. I love pinwheel quilts. However, the bulky centers and the matching of the points was always a challenge. In this pattern, I took care of those. What I did, I spread apart a little bit the points at the center of the pinwheels and that solves all your problems. This is a fun quilt to make. All the sizes are offered in the pattern. This is the baby size. And let me show you what you can do with the layer cake. Layer full of split pin wheels uh, laid out on point. That option is given in the pattern, so you could lay out on point all of the sizes. This is a lap size, and it looks totally different. This is a silk quilt, so it's completely made out of Dukioni silk. Or stripey HSTs, which means half square triangles uses just half square triangles in a stripy fabric to create a really interesting effect. So uh, it's an easy quilt to make, very much fun. The uh, stripes that I used are in the fabric, so using a stripy fabric is recommended. If you uh, want to create your own, that's also an option. But um, yeah, that's it. Now, if you think the back of the quilt is fun, let's see the front. So Lama Rama is a super fun quilt with llamas, uh, including piecing and some embroidery. All the embroidery stitches are described in detail inside the pattern. And it's, you know, sky's the limit. How much you want to embroider is your choice, whether you want to do a lot or a little. The only must do or the eyelashes. So you have to put the eyelashes on the llama or else there are no llamas, right? <laughs> so let me show you what else you can make. You can make a little pillow with just one block. You can make a little pillow that is super decorative. And here the tassels are actually 3D. So they're applied on top of the, not embroidered, but applied. Fun. Boho Chic. Boho Chic is one of my first quilt patterns and it's super super easy. It uses a layer cake and a jelly roll and actually not even the entire jelly roll and it comes together really fast. I made about a dozen of them for all of my friends um, and uh, it's very versatile. Depending on the jelly roll and layer cake that you use, you can go monochromatic, you can go romantic, you can go primary, just and you know that in a layer cake and jelly roll, everything is going to match, right? So you have no issues about making this quilt look amazing. So let me show you a smaller size. So this is a much smaller boho chic quilt. Uh, as you can see, instead of uh, the whole layer cake, we have used only 30 pieces or something like that. In the pattern, you have five different sizes and more information about how to make each size. Flashback. Flashback, again, another very easy pattern. Uses half square triangles and squares. Works really great with layer cakes. You need two layer cakes for the accent squares, as well as yardage, eight, five fabrics. How many uh, you have on hand, even monochromatic would look great. This quilt was inspired by a woven pattern in my childhood coat, uh, a combination between hound's tooth and herringbone, so I call it herring's tooth. <laughs> no, it's flashback. <laughs> the raggedy version of flashback is raggedy flashback. Surprise title there. So this is made out of flannel with half of the seams. All the bias seams are raggedy and it adds such a great dimension to the quilt. But again, it is not more difficult than the original version. Uh, it has more texture. Patch 9 is my take on the traditional 9 patch quilt pattern. I love how changed this pattern is by just making the center square disappear. Uh, the, the look is much more modern, much more um, edgy. And you can go black and white on this. Uh, it has been tried and it's absolutely spectacular. So this is a great quilt pattern. It works pretty 
easy. You use uh, strips to sew them together and then cut them in smaller pieces to make the blocks and it comes together fairly fast. One of my favorite uh, things is the layout, which is not a traditional layout. So again, uh, batch nine, fairly easy, works great with jelly roll strips. So that's another advantage. This screen is my try at fusible applique. It's inspired by dandelions, as you can see. Uh, in the pattern, all these petals are practically uh, cut out of rectangle pieces. Jelly rolls work great. You can use jelly rolls. Um, there's not that much fabric required for the dandelion petals, and uh, there's only a requirement for the background, and you use a whole cloth, and if you don't have a whole cloth fabric of this size, you can attach it really easily. So, totally spring, fusible applique, amazing quilt you can go monochromatic on this as well i chose to use a jelly roll a whole jelly roll and for each of these small rosettes you use just about as much four inches of a jelly roll strip so not much boxing play is a unique quilt pattern completely original it was based on a on a game in generation q make magazine it has large blocks and it plays with transparency and gradient. It will work with multicolor blocks as well. This is not necessarily a beginner pattern because it requires matching diagonal seams. Other than that, super fun to make and easy. Once you get diagonal seams down, you're good to go. Pearl is a pattern inspired by the traditional farmer's daughter block. It is fun to make, big blocks, many sizes, many more sizes in the pattern. Um, versatile, you can use uh, a colored background if you want, or you can use black and white, newspaper background, looks great, newspaper print background, um, yeah, super fun. Spring is the very first pattern I created. I love this pattern, it is versatile. You can make the beads using foundation paper piecing, which is what I did here. You can also make them using string piecing or you can use one fabric to make the entire bead. So I will show an example of that later on, but for these beads, foundation paper piecing, if you were thinking about learning that technique, this is pretty much the easiest pattern there is with foundation paper piecing. Just um, very straight lines, using scraps is fine. Uh, the blocks in between the beads are large and easy to make. Fun, fun, fun pattern. More sizes in the pattern. This is an example of a beads on a string with the beads created out of just one fabric. Each bead I try to make slightly different, but they are made of one fabric. They are not pieced at all, the beads themselves. And it still looks wonderful. They say that once you turn your hobby into a business, you should find a new hobby. Well, my hobby was crochet. <laughs> so that's my new hobby. And this is a huge granny square. Those of you who know crochet know what I'm talking about. This is a very simple to make quilt. You know, it's uh, the piecing is, is uh, straightforward and changing the colors around your huge granny square will change the look of the quilt. And I'll show you another example soon, but this is echoes. Or well, echoes in another color combination, totally different look. Uh, this is a quilt that you can integrate in a larger quilt. You can add borders all around to make it a queen size or king size. You can add the top and bottom borders to make it a twin size. Or instead of large borders, you can just continue adding strips the way I did. I love, what I love also about this pattern is how it echoes, but it doesn't stay the same. Uh, it kind of changes as it echoes towards the outside from the center out. It's one of my first quilts to make, one of the first eight actually, and I was so excited about making this quilt to learn later on that it is a, kind of a log cabin. We are working on this quilt with uh, quarters, so we're going to make one quarter at a time and then put them together to create a quilt. There are so many variations with these quarters. I chose to do it this way and it does remind me of a motherboard. 
this is a fairly easy pattern jelly roll friendly so pre-cut friendly and it takes you in different places according to the colors you use i'll show you some more examples but it's definitely a pattern that is suitable for beginners as well so how fun is this motherboard uh, this has a background that is uh, polka dots on dark gray but see how different the look motherboard i use two latin fabrics each quarter of the block is a different fabric and uh, it, it completely changes the look again fabrics by luke haynes and check out this fun bag thing i forgot to mention about motherboard is that it's a very versatile pattern you can even add sashing in between the blocks larger sashing you can add piecing in the sashing it's fun to make more sizes in the pack on the plus side is a quilt connected to a personal story of mine i will share that at your next guild meeting if you have me but now the, what to know about this pattern is that it comes together in horizontal rows so row by row we put together this pattern all quilt sizes are offered in the pattern and it, it it's really suitable for pre-cuts you can work with jelly rolls back quarter bundles um, any other pre-cuts really this is suitable for that for you uh, on the plus side uh, with leftover jelly roll strips I don't know if you can see but it looks amazing and if you uh, zoom into the back you will see the rows I was telling you about very fun <laughs> And this is another example of uh, on the plus side with a fat quarter pack and the plus signs are actually set on the diagonal so you can do that you can place your colors in the pattern there's a color me page in there actually not color me page but almost where you can place that um, the colors so you have a plan on how to put them together Heatwave is a quilt pattern that is very, very easy. Another quilt pattern fit for beginners. It was uh, inspired by a heatwave that came in our city. I was cooped up at home for two days and this is the quilt pattern that I came up with. I use my, my scraps, but it works beautifully using one yard each of five fabrics. And I'll show you an example of that. This uses five main color groups of scraps. So heat wave, and it's kind of a take on a rail fence pattern, you know, so yeah, very fun. Heat wave with five only fabrics. So there are only five fabrics in here instead of the scrap version that you've seen before. Um, and it, it looks great. It's a little heat wave. You've seen the large heat wave quilts before uh, the largest one twin size requires one yard each of fabric this little one is a baby size and requires half yard each of five fabrics and it's super adorable and this is a quilt that you can finish in a day i mean i finished in a day including the binding so it's very easy to make another example of a heat wave different colors different uh, fabrics same great little quilt H bag is my most popular pattern. This bag is very easy to make. It does require the dowels, but other than that, you're good to go. There are two patterns associated with the H bag, the regular H bag and the jumbo. This is the jumbo. And let me show you how the regular, so this is the regular size. <laughs> when you put them side by side, you see the difference in size. So they come in one pattern and then we have, we have the midi and the mini that come together in another pattern called mini midi H bag. The mini and the midi have interfacing to keep them, uh, to help them keep their shape. I want to show you my mini H bag and how much it can take inside. And if you can see, it's my crochet 
patterns and projects and yarn and all kinds of magazine so it's a really roomy bag although it looks so small it's roomy and what i love is that it stands up when you have a project to work on for watching if you want to hear more from me uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to see what kind of content remember to like and subscribe this video and um, yeah just ask any question I'll try to answer thank you